So what we have here is an S and D way digital sound level meter, and I will be having a review of this very good sound level meter, which I definitely recommend. So it's I think it's made from it's made in China. And we have here some Chinese text that I I can't really identify. So let's proceed and open the box, of course. And there you go. So we find some manual. So what we'll, what we can find here is that it has accuracy about plus or minus 1.5 dB in the upper sound pressure level, 94 dB at 1 kilohertz. Frequency response is from about 21.5 hertz to 8.5 kilohertz. We have a dynamic range of 50 dB measurement range from 30 to 130 decibel A weighted. And we have about a range of 35 to 130 dB C weighted. Send we have a frequency power or characteristic A power and C power. Digital display 4 digits resolution um, 0 0.1 dB. Sampling frequency is 2 times per second. We have a dynamic scale display of about 1 scale represents 2 dB and or 1 dB. Sampling frequency is 2 times per second. Dynamic calibration gear 30 to 130 decibels, 30 to 80 decibels. 50 to 100 decibels, 80 to over 130 decibels. Overload indication over and under symbol means AC signal output 0.65 by volt armless for each full scale. The output impedance is about 600 ohms. It's from the microphone, I think. And then we have a DC signal output about 10 millivolt dB. The output impedance is about 100 ohms. So dynamic characteristic fast and slow rate of reaction. We have the microphone of 6mm capacitance, mic, wind, um, maximum lock, about a max battery of 3XXL, 0.5 AA working, temperature and humidity is about 0 to 40 Celsius, 10 to 80% RH. Storage temperature and humidity is about negative 10 to 60 Celsius, 10 to 70% RH. And we have in the product structure is about a capacitor microphone, which we can find on the top. So you can see it here on the package, so let me show you. So here at the top is we have the capacitor microphone and then we have a display panel, some power switch that you could press. We have a top switch of 30 to 80 or 50. So we could see the top switch here when we increase the, the range of the S-bell meter. So we also have some ratio weighting A or C. It is um, switching frequency, so selecting the switching frequency weight band A that is received by the human ears. Frequency weighting is, is the mechanical noise characteristic. So here, as so you can see here, it's the ARC mode. And we have a pair of fast or slow, so we could see the averaging of the, of the meter. And it uses the time constant of 125 milliseconds, which is set in most cases. Slow speed uses the time constant of 1 second, which we can make the change a bit more stable. And we have the backlight button controls. You can see there's a light bulb here. And we have an AC signal output or a DC signal output. I don't know what really does is, but we could also try that. What it really does. And we have here some sponge hole, sponge ball windshield, and we have some calibration hole here, which you could see there is a like a screw on the tip here, where you could adjust when you're you think that. It's not calibrated the way you should want it to be. Then we have a battery cover over here at the back. So it uses for about um, uses triple AA battery. As you can see, it's it's written on the back. It's um, AAA 1.5 volts. And for me, the quality of this SBL meter is um, just fine. It's, it looks really durable and. The plastic doesn't feel cheap and it has a very good quality for my opinion. And here at the back we have a measurement range of 30 to 130 dB, accuracy of positive and neg positive or negative 1.5 dB, frequency response of 31.5 to 8000 Hz, 8000 kilohertz. A battery of course, what I said a while ago, it's 3 times 1.5 AA. So here is your s meter, so I'll show you how this works later, but for the meantime, I would show you how this would look when there is battery and real-time test with our basic audio later. So hang on for a second as I am buying 
the battery so let me first show you the, the, the papers here so if you're Japanese or Chinese I think you could check out this manual I'll show it to you you could watch the video if you, are, if you can read this all right so this is the next page you could watch the video if you like so you could read it properly then there you go so let me hold it for you guys there you go you could bust this if you want then here's the other part of the video then here you could pause it for the while so you're you could read it, you could do something with it. You could pause this if you would like and then try to read. So here's the other page. You could read this, you could pause the video and check it out. And then here's our next page. As I can't read this type of language here. you can see here there are some instances like this maybe you could read that and here is the last page if you're really 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 good All right so, so this is S and D way as well meter so what we have here is I think some we have here is some I think is my warranty card if I'm not mistaken even if I can read Chinese, I could know, I could distinctly know that this is a warranty card which you could use if this has a problem, this SBL meter. So guys, so thank you for watching and this is the review of our SND Way SBL meter and hope you subscribe and more power to you guys. God bless you guys. Thank you.